For today's video, we got some more Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Fortnite, huh? <laughs> and for this one, we're gonna be taking a look at Stars and Stripes, Jonesy. Before we get started, I did want to go over everything that we're going to get this week. If you complete this week's Hit the Road Cloak Star Challenge, you'll get in Kylo Kyle as a reward. And Prehistoric Isa was also added to the event store this week. We have reviewed both of them already. I'll leave a link to those reviews in the description if you want to go check them out. But we have yet to review Stars and Stripes Jonesy. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've even used him before. So that's why we're reviewing them. You'll be able to get them from the event store for 2,800 gold. And here's what he looks like when he's fully upgraded. The only accessories we got were the hat and the back bling. And we got those after the first and second evolution. But this is what he looks like when he's maxed out. For his abilities, he has shockwave, frag grenade, and going commando. And for his standard perk, he has assault ammo recovery, which gives assault weapons and SMGs a 24% chance to refund ammo every time you shoot. And his commander perk gives you a 48% chance to refund ammo. While we test it, we're gonna use the Totally Rockin' Out team perk. And for our support team, we have Varsity Hero, Breakbeat Wildcat, Ranger Deadeye, Beetle Jess, and Crack Shot. And the mission we're gonna do is this power level 140, eliminate and collect, and Cookies is gonna be helping us out. And why is your power level 120? Uh, I can explain. I can explain. He's evolving just backwards. Back off! Last chance! Oh, there's something he says. I guess I'll go ahead and show a couple of his voice lines. You're gonna hate this! Have some shrapnel! Hey, catch! You sure about this? Anti-smash tactics! When you want to smash machine in the mood. Earth Scorcher! Grenade! Smasher! Whoa! You'd make an amazing pass. Smasher's gotta die! Let me smash. <laughs> he tried to <laughs> smash you in the air. <laughs> Check it out! There's an air show! Oh my god, they're gonna crash! No, no, don't worry. It's a gay air show. They're just gonna lightly touch tips. Aww. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, if you use him as your commander, you're going to get a 48% chance to not use any ammo when you shoot. Yeah, uh, if you have him in your support team, you get a 24% chance. Oh, yeah. And with this quick shot, we were able to get a total of 45 shots before we had to reload, even though we only had 25 rounds in a magazine. Uh, keep in mind, his perk also works for assault weapons, so you don't have to use SMGs. But I guess we'll go ahead and show an example with an assault weapon as well. Uh, with the candy corn, we have a total of 100 rounds, and let's see how many we get while using Stars and Stripes Jonesy. 1, 2, 194, 195, 196. So we got 196 rounds, I admire your enthusiasm. even though we only have 100 rounds in the magazine. So that's what his commander perk looks like using both assault weapons and SMGs. So when it comes to his abilities, he has frag grenades. You're gonna hate this. He also has the shockwave. Woo! <laughs> and he also has the minigun. So when it comes to his abilities, I do kind of prefer the war cry over the frag grenades. But I do like his other two abilities. Alright, here we go, people. Where are all the enemies at? Oh shoot. Alright, here we go, people. Matter of fact, let's use a, a quick shot. Gonna use our quick shot. We got a total of 3,833 when we started. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep track and see how much we have at the end of the mission as well. Oh, oh, oh shoot. Taker's out already. Let's go ahead and throw down our slow field. So, when it comes to Stars and Stripes Jonesy, this is actually the first time I've ever used them. And the reason I've never used him before is because I don't really consider him to be that useful. Those stars and stripes don't mean nothing good to me. Obviously, he's, he's really good when it comes to saving ammo for assault weapons and SMGs. I feel like if you really want to save ammo, you'd be better off just using like melee weapons. If you need to save ammo, that's probably the best way to do it. You can just like farm for nuts and bolts or use the supply drop and look for ammo boxes and save up on ammo that way. So that's why I never used them before and that's why I don't really consider him to be a good hero to use. I definitely prefer to have increased damage over saving ammo. So that's why I wouldn't recommend maxing them out. 
I mean, I guess he could be useful if you use only SMGs or assault weapons. But like I said, if you really want to save ammo, you'd be better off just making a, a melee loadout. Sorry, can't. And that's probably the reason why I never reviewed them before. But like I said earlier, we didn't really get anything new this week. And I've never reviewed them, so that's why I chose to review them. Cookies? Yeah, I, I kind of I kinda, I kinda slipped, man. So let's go ahead and use our abilities, because I haven't really used them yet. Obviously, he's not good when it comes to abilities either, because... He doesn't really have anything that buffs him. And oh my I do kind of wish he had a uh, war cry. That would have made him a little bit more useful. So yeah, with, with that being said, <laughs> I, I would still recommend getting him, at least for the collection book. But I would not recommend maxing him out. Unless you, uh, you really like using assault weapons and SMGs. And you're trying to save up on some ammo. But yeah, I wouldn't consider him to be one of the better heroes. As a matter of fact, I hope he's one of the heroes that they end up reworking. Because I feel like they, they could come up with a better perk for him than the one they currently have. So hopefully he's one of the heroes that's included. And I think they're going to start changing some of those perks like within the next week or two. They said they're going to give us more information in the next home base status report. Nope. Which I believe we'll get within the next couple weeks. Uh, we're not going to get it next week because uh, there's another hit the road challenge that we're going to get next week. And let me see what else we're getting. You'll be able to get White Al Fiona from uh, the hit the road challenge next week. And Jurassic Ken is supposed to be returning next week. He's going to be available in the event store. So I don't think they're going to make any changes to hero perks and abilities uh, this week or next week. But we should find out some more information about it the week after next, I think. And as soon as they tell us more about it, I'll be sure to let you all know. I'm trying to think if he will be good for like any events. I don't think there's any event I would recommend using him for. Uh, if anything, you may just want to use him for like regular missions. Because I can't think of any events where ammo's an issue. Uh, maybe if they come out with like a new modifier Sorry. that limits the amount of ammo you use. But yeah, as of right now, it doesn't seem like there's too many uses for them. So that's, that's why I wouldn't recommend maxing them out. But yeah, as of right now, I think I'm level 34 in the Venture Zone. Uh, if you need help with the Venture Zone or Endurance or Mythic Storm King, be sure to join our Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Yeah, that, that's another reason I would recommend that you at least get it. Mm -hmm. Even even though I say don't max it out, is because they may end up changing his perks around, and he could be useful in the future. And you oh, don't yeah. want to, yeah, you don't want to have to wait another year to get them, or waste V bucks <laughs> researching them from the collection book. So if you don't have them, make sure you get them. Oh yeah, I highly recommend getting them just in case. Yeah, just hold on to them just in case. It sounds like my quick shot's about to break. I'm just trying to like kill this. Oh shoot, I'm down. Oh shoot. Yeah, I'm about to go down. Two cookie. I got you. Hold on one second. I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way. Look at him. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got when it comes to stars and stripes, Jonesy. We have reviewed all of the other 4th of July heroes. I'll leave a link to those reviews in the description as well. But yeah, I think we pretty much covered everything for this one. Um, for those of you who have tried them, let us know what you all think about them. And let us know what kind of loadouts you all came up with. Whew! Oh, what the? Um, our characters are not on the screen, anyone. All I see is your head. I, I don't know if you see that. Yeah, I'm a nobody. <laughs> I'm a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a level two loot chest with some survivor XP gold and hero XP. We also got some epic perk up and amp up. And we also got a gift box. Dream Keeper. <gasps> oh, I got a gift too. Thank you so much, Dream Keeper. He gave me the cow outfit. I can milk you. Oh my gosh, Dream Keeper gifted me a gift too. Big shout out to Dream Keeper for the cow suit. <laughs> okay. Well, I also got a milk carton back bling. 
<laughs> me too, me too. Thank you, Dream Keeper. I love you. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. Big shout out to Cookies for helping us out. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.